Can you solve the world's hardest riddles? Let's find out. Bobby had a fight with his parents and rode away. No. I wonder what they were arguing about, but this isn't good. He didn't return home in the evening. Oh my goodness. And his parents decided that he was kidnapped. Oh, that's so much worse than we first thought. They went to the police to file for a kidnap. And you can see all the pictures of all the evil people behind them. It's too early to open an investigation. Go home. <gasps> what a rude police officer. Your son will be back soon. I actually think they may say that. If your son's only just gone, give it a bit more time. But... This is no time to be complacent. Bobby's parents decided to walk around the neighborhood and look for witnesses. Okay, who's seen Bobby? That's the question. All people said they hadn't seen anything. <gasps> but Bobby, Bobby's parents were sure, surely someone's seen him in a smart suit riding around on a blue bike that one of them was the kidnapper. Who kidnapped Bobby? Oh my goodness. We've got two people with bikes that guy's got like a very fancy restaurant i mean he's dressed similar to bobby but i don't think that even means anything can we guess this one right guys we can guess it right hit the thumbs up button did you notice bobby's blue bike outside guys hit the thumbs up button if you got that right as well bobby is saved who's a superhero let's figure it out people having a load of fun around the campfire oh my gosh i kind of wish like i was there wait what has that guy got glowing on his finger has he got some superhero powers? Is that the right answer? Superhero located. I would love to be a superhero. Ooh, wait a second. We're just talking about Iron Man. Take a look on screen here. That guy's literally got Iron Man's heart in his chest. He's not even trying to hide it. Two for two. We are the greatest at finding superheroes, but there's more superheroes to be found. We've got three people. Wait, we've got a football player or a American football player. Uh, is that a rugby? Be player and a boxer. Wait a sec, he's about to infinity gauntlet snap at half of the people off the pitch. That's cheating. How did he even get hold of that? Oh, this one. Wait, what the? Who's the superhero here? I don't know. They all look very normal. Waitress looks a little bit scared. Oh my, I've noticed it. I'm not going to say it yet. It's actually one of the hardest ones. If you can guess this, your brain is huge. She's literally floating. That would be such a cool ability to have, just saying. These guys are working in construction, measuring, angulating, and building everything. So this guy's got something a bit OP. He's literally got Thor's hammer. I found it, did you? Oh my gosh, Flora Rock was a daughter of a rich businessman. <gasps> He looks like the weirdest businessman I've ever seen. I would not mess with him. Who had some sort of deals with the mafia? What? Don't mess with him. When Mr. Rot died of a heart attack. <gasps> the daughter must be suspicious. The mafia started to look for important documentations. Don't mess with these guys. They're serious. Belonging to Flora's father. <gasps> Ooh. One day, Flora left home for work. <gasps> look, it's one of the... One of the guys, one of the mafia dudes in the background. When she came back, she immediately realized that her house had been searched. <gasps> What's changed? We're going to have to use our big eyes here to work out what the difference is. The pitch is the same. The bookshelf are the same. Everything on the windows. Is <gasps> guys, the pillows. A tiny change. I can't lie. If someone came in here and changed the pillows, I'd never notice. But Flora must have a very good brain to notice that. Did you notice it too? Can you spot the difference? If you notice the cushions, maybe you'll be able to notice this. We got SpongeBob. Ready to serve up some beautiful patties. But what's the difference? Few more sec. I actually can't notice it, guys. Oh, can you spot it? Oh, it was the hat. The logo wasn't there. Spongebob making off with so much jewelry. But the question is, what's the difference? Oh my. I, I can't spot it. I genuinely, I'm panicking. There's so much diamonds and gold. What's the difference here? Well, the bush. How are we meant to see that? Oh my goodness. He's got the ultimate spatula. But what's been removed? Pay close attention. If you can get all of these, you are a I've just spotted it. It's not anywhere on SpongeBob. 
Look up in the sky. It's on the ceiling. Just like me, SpongeBob's a happy fellow. He's got rainbows, but he may not be too happy if he realized something's missing. Can you spot the difference? This one's tiny. I've just seen it. Take a look at his pocket, people. He's lost part of his belt. One cold autumn night. Something is about to go down. John put on a black... Well, that's very suspicious, John. Why would you do that? What are you... Okay. Grabbed a big bag and left the house. John, are you about to steal something? Stealing is evil. If you agree that stealing is evil, make sure to subscribe. He's visiting several neighboring houses, and we're not happy right now. And took something out of each house. But at least all of us together here on the channel subscribed and not evil like John is. When Ron returned home, a sack was full of some stuff. Imagine just stealing one thing from every person's house. This guy's trying to get caught. A policeman and many neighbors saw him that night. What was he thinking? But they did nothing. Oh, I think I know why. I think I know why. I noticed. And I thought it was a bit odd in the background. I'll give you a second. So something in the background that I saw. I think I'm right. I saw ghosts and like Halloween -y stuff. I think everyone's dressed up because it's Halloween, so no one paid any attention. It's Halloween! Bro, I nailed it. Can't lie, I actually thought he was stealing. Didn't think he was trick-or-treating. He looks super sus, John, but I'll let you get away with it this time. Tony started his own business. Is this Tony Stark? Iron Man again? Tony, what business have you started? And rented an office in a basement. Ooh, interesting. That's a giant basement. Things were going well. Making lots of money. GG, John. Clever man. Soon, Tony decided to find a more prestigious office. He didn't want to be on the floor. Oh, he's been killed. Are you kidding me? Poor guy was doing so good as well. The police arrived at the crime scene, but the question is, what happened here? Question all of his employees. We've got three people here, but it could be. Let's have a look. When I was in the bathroom... It happened. Okay. I was smoking outside. Okay. I was cleaning. No, oh, I know already. Think about it, people. They're in a basement. The office. They're doing well. You gotta go outside to smoke. You gotta go to the toilet to go to the toilet. There isn't any windows in a basement. Jill, you're the person. Question is, where are the zombies hiding, people? Pay close attention to see where it is. Is any of these people acting? <gasps> I spot a hand. Can you see it too? Sticking out of the tent. People run. There's literally a zombie with you right now on this camping trip. Oh, where's the zombie hiding? We have got ourselves a mummy. Someone taking a selfie. An amazing Egyptian cat. I can't see any- Oh, my- The zombie is the mummy. Look, he's moving his head. He's alive. Watch out, people. I would not be in that museum for much longer, that's for sure. Where's the zombie hiding? <gasps> the duck in the background. Someone on the bike. Nice doggy. So cute. Everyone's having so much fun, but the music's so tense. I think I noticed something rustling, though. They're hiding in the bush. Do you guys agree? Let me know. Guys, quickly, which door do you choose? You're locked in a room. I'm locked in this room. Imagine. And there's only three ways of getting out. The salvation lies behind one of these doors. Get your thinking caps on. I got mine on. I got mine at Allier.shop. The only place to get official Allier merchandise as well. We've got a serial killer who killed people in 1890. A 1,830 degree flame. We watched some lava experiments recently on the channel, and that is hot. Trust me. Liquid nitrogen, that is cold. You got one of the hottest things and one of the coldest things, and a dude that's literally a murderer. Which one do you choose? The hint for this has got to be in the detail. We can't go and get frozen. We can't go and get burnt, surely. So can we sneak past this guy? But he's a murderer. But wait a second. He was a murderer in 1890. He's not going to be there anymore. I'm choosing that one because we're just going to find a skeleton. Let's go. He died ages ago. Nick, Bob, Mia, and Donna all traveled around the country. They got that van driving around. One day they saw, oh my goodness, this is the spookiest place I've ever seen, an abandoned house. 
by the road. Why would you stop? Looks like a ghost house. Let's check it out. We don't seem too keen. Don't be silly. Ghosts don't exist. Oh, so one of them doesn't believe in ghosts. Hey, I'm literally seeing one right there. Just saying. They are very brave to go into this. They walked around the house taking Polaroid pictures. OG pictures, basically. But didn't meet any ghosts in the house. Oh, they seem a little bit disappointed. We told you, they said. Ghosts aren't real. Oh, what has she got here? Wait a second. Look at these pictures. What has she seen that they haven't? Has she got proof that ghosts are real? Oh, no. Get out of here. Do they believe her? I want to see the pictures. Relax. It's just a joke. <gasps> she was joking. It's not about your joke. Oh, my goodness. What scared them so much? Um... Picture one, two, three, or four. Wait a sec. Wait a second. Who took the first picture if they're all in it? Did a ghost steal our camera and take it? Pay close attention. A spy snuck into Mr. Gordon's mansion and stolen his secret documents. I'm telling you. There's a lot of people stealing a lot of stuff at the moment. Be careful. <gasps> Mr. Gordon's guard caught the spy. Thank goodness. But he didn't tell them where the documents were hidden. Oh, no. We're going to have to do some investigating. Mr. Gordon had a private detective to find the documents. The detective went to the spy's country house. Jeez, what a beautiful country house. Once he entered the gates, he figured out where the stash was. <gasps> How did he figure it out that quickly? Where are the doc... Are you kidding me? Oh, I'm meant to know where the document's hitting behind the... the, the uh, oh, whoa. Genuinely, if you spotted that, a slightly loose tile on the floor, you are incredible. But can you do the next one as well? A large vampire family lived in an ancient castle. Oh, one day, Fabian, the head of the fam family, Fabian, Fabian, whatever you want to call him, was found dead in the basement. I got his name wrong, and then he's dead. The poor guy probably hates me. The detective arrived at the crime scene. What a huge detective. I would not mess with this guy. And interviewed the family members to play very close attention. Let's see who was in the castle. I was sleeping in my coffin. Okay, nothing too suspicious. I was playing the organ in the living room. Okay, someone was playing loud music. I was cleaning my clothes. Hmm. Who killed him? That's the question. I've got to admit, this is one of the hardest riddles we've done in a while. People, pay close attention. Can you work this one out? I've got an idea. Oh, he's too tall for the coffin. <gasps> he would have had to sleep like this all hunched up. He was completely lying. We found the killer. If you can spot these differences, your eyes are truly incredible. Final few challenges. Can you spot the difference between these pictures? Pay close attention. I'll be honest with you. I ain't seen it right now. Sometimes these are so easy, and others, they are so hard. If any of you guys have spotted it, you're doing a lot better than me. Maybe it's obvious. Where is it? Where is it? How did I miss that? I genuinely didn't see that. I am so silly. Final question. If you can get this and all of the others, congratulations. You have smashed it. Final spot the difference. Can you tell the difference between the first and second picture? Let me know where you think it is. Leave a comment down below and see if you agree. It ain't easy. Guys, more riddles and videos on screen here. Click to keep on watching. I'll see you over there.